Hi, welcome to another of my videos. I'm Sam Lee and thank you for joining me. I just want to share, just for a few minutes, a visual a visualization, if you like, of something that we can keep in our minds when we're carrying out our everyday tasks within the aviation maintenance environment. And to be honest, this can apl be applied to not only work situations, but also living our lives in general. So here you can see an umbrella. That's just indicative of any one of us. And when we're at work, when we're working in accordance with certain documents, regulations, we have a layer of protection. I've kind of drawn this umbrella to signify that. So let's say that I'm working in accordance with the maintenance organization exposition. I'm working in accordance with the aircraft maintenance manual, maybe the structure repair manual, maybe the regulations or the regs. Maybe the company has its own policies. And of course, there's gonna be procedures as well. That just indicates some of the things that we work under. Now, as we're working under those, if we're working in accordance with, let's put in accordance with, all of these things, there is a layer of protection. So if something goes wrong, I make an error and, or a mistake, and I'm questioned about it in the interview and investigative process, if I can stand there and say, I worked in accordance with these different documents or these different regulations, there is a layer of protection. I am protected. Now, something that tends to happen on a day-to-day -day basis, which is another great topic that I enjoy talking about, are human factors. And as I'm explaining this, there's something trying to pull us out from under that umbrella. And I believe that is everyday human factors. So everyday human factors could include pressure, stress, fatigue, complacency, norms or the normal way we work in our particular organization. It can include poor teamwork or a lack of communication, a lack of awareness, a lack of knowledge. It can include any of those items or those human factors. And they're always looking to pull us out from underneath this umbrella. So let's say I'm working, I'm carrying out a task and all of a sudden my manager comes to me and says, Sam, you've got to get this task done. Literally, why is it taking you so long? This has got to get out the door. We've got to get this plane out for this customer. I can at that point feel uh, not only under pressure to complete the task, but actually under stress because I have the perception that my manager is taking away the time that I think I need for this particular task. So at that point, I'm feeling stressed. At that point, there is a temptation for me to come outside or out of underneath the protection of that umbrella. The moment I step outside, if something goes wrong, I'm accountable there. If something goes wrong, I'm accountable. I have to own the responsibility for stepping outside of underneath that umbrella. Now, this, we might think, kind of goes on pretty much every day around the world somewhere. People are influenced by human factors. So for all intents and purposes, we're taught to work in accordance with, we're trained to work in accordance with, we're expected to. When audits are carried out, it's to make sure we're complying and doing things in accordance with. Human factors come along, and they try and pull us out from underneath this umbrella. But it's not all bad news. What can help keep us under this umbrella? Well, I personally believe that actually counteracting this, actually trying to keep us under this umbrella, would be our personal minimums. And there's another video where I go into a lot more detail on personal minimums. Check that out because it's really relevant here personal minimums, your choice, your thoughts, your actions in the moment when you've identified, and this is the important thing, you've got to actually identify that you are being negatively influenced by certain human factors to realize that you're about to step outside of underneath this umbrella of protection. When you do, you'll go, ah, my personal minimums. Do I have the knowledge required to complete the task? Am I physically prepared to meet the, to complete the task? Am I mentally prepared? Well, actually, no, I'm under the influence of stress. Okay, what does that mean? How does stress affect me? What do I need to be conscious of? I need to be conscious of staying underneath this umbrella. So my personal minimums. Another company I've worked with have a significant six. Six things that they will 
work towards or keep in mind. Other companies have safety rules. Organization I work with has 10 safety rules and they're put up around the, the hangar and the building and that's fantastic. But what does it mean to an individual? What does it mean to this person who's being influenced negatively by human factors? Actually, this is what it means. Not only do they have their personal minimums and the standard and the values that they as an individual care for or you care for, but actually the safety rules for this particular organization, that person can look at those safety rules and say, actually, I'm just about to break one of these safety rules that we own as an organization. And if they're breaking that, it's stepping outside of this umbrella or they're setting themselves up to step outside the umbrella. The safety rules are there for them to go, actually, I'm just about to break that safety rule. I need to stop. We need to pause. We need to reevaluate. We need to consider just for a few seconds. And sometimes that break, that pause is just for a few seconds to break the cycle or effects of trying to be pulled out from underneath this umbrella. Now, I hope that's helped. It's a very short video. I hope you get the concepts behind this. I believe it can help us as well in our personal lives, our lives outside of work. For example, driving a car. If you're driving your car in accordance with the highway code or the regulations, the speed limit, you're staying within the speed limit and something goes wrong, well, you've got an element of protection because you can say, and, it's, and when it's concluded that you have been driving in accordance with the designated speed limits, you can say, actually, I was fulfilling that part of the requirement. I was, I'm under that part of the umbrella. So I hope this helped. I'd love to hear from you. Drop into comments what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to share this video if you think it will be of value to other people. Excellent, thank you. Have a great day. Be blessed. Remember your personal minimums.